the books you read that make you seem smart and intellectual. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. It is Emma Scott with not a writing video. This is a, another type of video. You want to have a secret history by Donna Tartt. <laughs> it's good writing. Um, so if you are interested in it, I can't recommend it, but from the piece that I read, it did sound good. If we were villains, which from my understanding is basically like a rip on the secret history, but there's nothing new under the sun, so you can't really fault the author for that. A picture of Dorian Gray. Let's say you had a budget and you can only afford three books. Those are the three books you would want to have. So you can get Frankenstein by Mary Shelley as a book, Life House by Lee Bardugo. So Greek philosophy books, because let's say you don't have those books and you're not really into that subject matter um, or that genre, you might not want you know, people killing people. <laughs> Did I spoil something? I don't know. If you have some Harry Potter books, that's gonna work just as well. So you need to be like in a school setting, preferably like a boarding setting. So like not like, oh, you go to school, you go home, but maybe like you're in school and you live in a dorm or a boarding house. Um, it needs to feel kind of vintagey and old. And also it needs to be kind of like dark, mysterious. Maybe somebody died, probably somebody died. And paperback. To not even come with that hardback stuff. If you have hardback books like I do, what is going on with me? You can't even see my books. If you have hardback books like I do, you want to turn them that way. I'm trying not to touch this candle. You want to turn them that way. Um, but usually when you display your books on Instagram, you're going to fold over the front cover. I don't have a paperback book to show you, but you're going to fold over the front cover where you can see that first title page. <laughs> Covers, you want them to be kind of worn and you want them to have like little creases on them. The books need to feel vintagey. I, I like the look, but I'm not going to get this stuff because I don't like those types of books. So, what can you do? As far as colors are concerned, you want to stick with beige, dark browns, brassy golds, neutral tones really, and of course black. It's dark academia, so there you go. Some movies you may be into, Dead Poets Society, that one keeps coming up, Kill Your Darlings. I watched the first season of Frankenstein, I was really into it, it had Sean Bean and that girl from Hobbs and Shaw. There's only so much creep I can take, you know what I mean? So I stopped watching in second season, but from first season, I would recommend. It was really good, it has a nice mystery, and the overall aesthetic is so pleasing. Yeah, if you would like to dress this way, um, think about very vintage. Again, the color scheme, keep that in mind. Dark colors, neutral colors. Um, you might want to, if you're a guy, you might want to do a vest. Or if you're a girl, I don't care. Do yourself a vest. <laughs> the blazer. The blazer is the key thing. I don't like blazers. I may get one because I like looking nice in times, but I... They're so constricting. I prefer cardigans, which you can also have, but a blazer is really going to solidify that look for you. It's so hot in here. <sighs> and you might want to invest more money in books than clothing, so I'm trying to give you like some key, key pieces that you don't have to buy like a ton of stuff. Um, the shoes, you want loafers of some type or Oxford shoes. But I think loafers are readily available. So there's like loafers at Walmart and stuff. So if you don't have loafers, you can only get ballet flats. I feel like that will work as well.
Now, you don't need that many props. <laughs> you would like to get yourself a gold ornate mirror. You want, might want to do some old Victorian style furniture. You might want a candle. Candles are easy for me. Uh, it doesn't have to be a real one because I keep feeling like I'm going to touch this on accident. Um, it could be one of those fake ones. Um, statues like the Greek Roman statues that are kind of like broken or they might come as like book ends. I don't like statues. I tend to not like decorations that have no purpose. So I don't have a lot of decorations. Um, also, if you have books, especially hardback books, just turn them around. Right? It's free. All you have to do is go and turn your books. And I get it like I know people are not working right now. So you don't want to like spend a bunch of money trying to follow an aesthetic. That would conclude this video. Y'all know I'm awkward at goodbyes and just this is the end of the video. I'll see you next time.